camera just like randomly stopped recording um but i thought i'd show you our christmas tree now that it's up so i put this up i want to say on sunday oh our star is crooked but whatever um maybe this will look better at night i might do this again at night but this is what it looks like i have my bubble wrap all around it we have sam's mom's christmas card to us and they're actually sorry mama let me take this out first so we can show off the tree actually i'm gonna show you this at night because it's probably like way cuter at night but and then i guess i can show you this over here we have our stocking so sam just wanted a simple one so we got her this knit one from target and then obviously I have the fun furry one. Here's the other tree that we have. My pink and white one that I put up every year on my desk. It's kind of like way too big. I wish it was like short enough to fit under here. Um, but there's my pink one. And I'm sipping on some hot chocolate right now. I don't know if I showed you guys. Oh wait, you guys did see this mug in my haul. I've been using it every single day. And um, don't tell anyone, but I've also been drinking hot chocolate like every single day since I got this mug. That's a shot right there. So I don't know how much of that intro <laughs> was filmed, um, but this is the front, front, I don't know, first part of the room. There's the door and then here's just kind of like a drop off area where you can hang like your coat. There's my bag, some shelves, a mirror. Um, and then here's the bed, which I did a really bad job of um making the bed for you guys but i love this bed because you can move it up and down which right now i have it up because that's how it looks when you check in there's a bed tray over there and i absolutely love bed trays um another side table thing happening here so there's my phone charging these are some drawers there's a safe in here an extra chair which i've been using to sit down and get ready kind of like make my own vanity over here is the cool tv with the really awesome lighting um you can actually change out the mode so right now it's changing colors and you can make it go super fast and feel like you're at a rave um we're gonna leave it on that mode though the bathroom area so this curtain will actually come across the whole um thing <laughs> for privacy if you need it and then in here is the shower which this shower you guys is amazing um it's a monsoon shower so the water can come from up there or from that shower head and then in here is obviously the toilet um with the towel warmer which is like probably one of my i love so much about this these hotel rooms um but this is definitely like my top three um because i've never seen this before but this obviously will warm up your towel so your towel is warm after a shower which is super amazing over here is the sink area well that's a what is that called hair dryer ironing board area i would say this is another like closet area where you can hang more stuff um and then this is obviously the sink which is kind of a mess there's me so yeah that is the room excuse me i'm so sorry hey guys so i just want to show you some of the stuff that i got on black friday because the tops that i got are so cute um i just picked up a bunch of our packages and some of this are sam's presents so i'm not going to show those but i'll show you some of the stuff i bought for myself um so first thing is i already took this out of the bag i got a new pair of levi's um and these are like dad jeans is what they're called and i saw them on this one blogger and i really like them a lot so they're like high-waisted dad jeans i'm not sure how i feel about the bottom yet because like i'm usually a skinny jeans kind of person but i'm excited to try those um it's gonna be like annoyingly loud i grabbed some stuff from express and i watched 
watched this girl Tony on YouTube. I don't know her last name, but she's like literally the cutest thing. And she show, she uh, did like an express video on some of the tops that she got, and I just loved them. So this is one of them. I don't know if the camera is gonna pick it up, but it's black. It's kind of like a crop top, and it has these like sheer sleeves. And I thought it was so pretty. I'm excited to wear that. And then also this like nude top with puffy sleeves. Everything on Express that day was half off, which is always the best deal ever. This package is from Miss Lola. And I have this black top that I got from them. Um, and I fell in love with it so much, I got it in two other colors. <laughs> So let me open these up real quick. Miss Lola, their packaging is super cute. I really love that font. Oh my gosh, I've got 99 problems, but an OOTD ain't one. True that. Okay. So I have this black top in. Um, the same exact style and I decided to get it in this like rusty copper color. I love it so much. I love, I'm not sure what this is called, ruching on the top and then the sleeves are puffy and this is what the back looks like and I really like this color. And then I also got it in <laughs> this leopard print. Yay, super fun. So excited to wear that. And then I'm a little nervous about this top because it's like kind of super sexy, but it would be good for like a girl's night out. Um, but this is what that looks like. I don't know if you can tell, but it has big puffy sleeves. I got it in a large just so that like it could cover more. Um, but the front has kind of like a sweetheart neckline with the crisscross between the boobs. So we will see how this fits on but obviously it's a short crop top so we will we'll see but yeah so I got like a bunch of tops and I'm excited to bring these on my trip home for the holidays oh my gosh all neutrals of course so those are from Miss Lola and Express um and then the rest of these are all of Sam's Christmas presents so I got her like some stocking stuffers and then she um, a new record player for Christmas, so that's what <laughs> this baby is. You guys, I feel like every time I decide to vlog, I have to go get my nails done. Um, I actually got them done, whoa, lighting, weird. I actually got them done last night, but of course I already broke one, and then this one's already starting to pull up. So we're gonna go get that fixed right now because it literally drives me insane when I have a broken nail. And then I think I'm gonna go do some Christmas shopping. Um, just gonna go grab some stocking stuffers with Sam. She's pretty much done, but I don't know, I just wanna get her more. Um, she's swimming right now. Actually, let me put this down. Sam's swimming right now, so I think I'm gonna go do some errands. And then um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, what we're doing tonight. But, oh, this is that top that I showed you guys that I got from Black Friday. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like really cute. This one's from Express, and I really like it a lot. Um, this is my first time wearing it, but yeah. So, I'm gonna go get my nail fixed, and then um, I think, oh yeah, we said shopping. And then who knows what's gonna happen. So we like to make French coffee, French press coffee. And y'all, yes, this is my favorite part. <laughs> Ignore dirty dishes in the background. I love this lipstick because it doesn't come off. It doesn't come off too little. Okay, maybe a little. That's just because I just applied it. Mm. It smells so good. Mm. Cheers! It's too hot to drink though, huh? 
Okay. Just, my taste buds just came back. Let's just pretend. <laughs> Don't actually do it though. Well, I thought we'd do a little Primark haul. If you don't know what Primark is, um, I'm like super excited about this store because I've only heard of them being in like the UK, um, but we have one here in Boston and it's basically like an H&M, but cheaper, but like still really good stuff, but also kind of like Marshalls. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but they just have really amazing stuff with like good prices. So, um, actually I have some stuff up here. So this is the first thing I saw when I walked into the store and it was this headband and I know it's like extra AF, but it is the holidays. I don't know. I feel like I'll look ridiculous if I put this on right now. Um, can you see it? But I think it's so pretty and so much fun and, um, I had to pick it up and then I also got it in the black one too because they're just like so cute so and they're super trendy right now and I'm honestly not someone who likes to hop on trends but this one I just like couldn't resist and I feel like this is something that I could use like a million times um so I got that um, reaching into the bag, I grabbed some slippers. Um, Sam's mom is coming next week, so I won't be here, but I wanted her to have some comfy slippers for while she's, um, in our home. Um, let me just grab some stuff out. Ugh, hang on. I picked up some jewelry, so I always have, like, a million rings in my hand, and I just, like, always use cheap ones and mine were starting to tarnish so these are like my favorite kinds of rings that I always wear and I thought this was like pretty for the holidays so I picked up some of these rings and then I also grabbed these earrings that I also thought would be super pretty for the holidays those tops that I showed you guys um, earlier in the vlog I feel like I had these in mind to wear them with um Okay, this is like my favorite thing in the world. So I already have two pairs of these and these are, I've only seen these at Primark. Um, I think they're a Primark thing, but they're these velvet plush leggings. And I swear these are what get me through the winters here in Boston. The winters here are like relentless. Like they're horrible, they're dry, they're windy. They, they're like worse than any winter I've ever experienced. Um, so much worse than Michigan. And so these leggings are literally my favorite things in the whole world. This is what the inside look like. And they just keep me so warm. And I hate layering. Um, I just am not that kind of person to layer. I would never wear leggings under a pair of jeans in my life. So these are just so amazing because they just, it's just one pair of leggings and they keep me so warm. Um, and they're $8. Seriously, so amazing. I think that's like my third or fourth pair. Um, some other things that I got. So I actually got some like little Christmas presents for my cousins and I know that they, Rachel watches my videos so I'm not going to pull those out. Um... But I also grabbed this little wallet, and I'm not sure if my mom's going to watch this either, but whatever, I got you this in a different color. <laughs> but this one's, um, actually I don't know which color I'm going to give her, but I got a few of these, um, and I thought it was so cute. It's this little wallet, and it has like a, what is this called? A strap, so you can wear it if you want. Um, but this was like super cheap and I thought just like a fun little like stocking stuffer gift. So I got a few of those and then, um, actually, yeah, I think that's everything that I can show on camera. Oh, oh my God. Did I really get this much jewelry? Okay. I guess I also grabbed these earrings. Um, I feel like I don't, other than like some really pretty studs, I don't have like good holiday e. okay I'm lying I have tons of jewelry but I thought these were cute um gold hoops which I actually don't have a good pair of um so I picked up these earrings 
I thought they were so pretty. I really, 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 really love those. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Okay, yeah. Other stuff is like gifts. They're like little stocking stuff for gifts that I can't show on camera. Um, and then I just picked up, this was at the register, and I need to redecorate my bathroom before Sam's mom comes. It actually still has Halloween stuff in it, and it's already December. I know, it's like really bad. Um, so I got this to put in our bathroom, and this was just a dollar, um, and it smells really good. It actually smells like the hand soap that we have in there right now. So that was everything that I picked up at Primark. Um, I also remember, I know that in this, earlier in this vlog, I shared with you guys, um, excuse me, I'm going to burp. Oh my God, I'm going to edit that out. Okay, earlier in the vlog, I also shared some Black Friday stuff that I grabbed. This whole video is just going to be like a haul, but whatever. Um, let me know if you guys <laughs> like this stuff. Um, and I thought I would show you this other Black Friday purchase that I got that's like my new favorite thing sitting here on my vanity. So I picked up this sunglass box, sunglass holder. They might fall. Um, and I got this from Amazon and all my sunglasses were like on a shelf in their own individual boxes and like I literally would never wear half of them. Um, and I'm really bad at losing and breaking my sunglasses. So I thought this would kind of help me just wear the ones that I have and just keep them safe and protect them. Um, so this was like literally like 14 bucks or something on Amazon. And all of my, most of my sunglasses are in here. Um, oh, look how pretty it is. Oops. But yeah, this is like my new favorite thing in the whole world and there are actually three new pairs in here i got the um desi perkins um collection special collection that was on black friday it was literally like three sunglasses for the price of one um this packaging was so so cute the way that they had it let me see if i can open it um but all the sunglasses were in here but obviously they are now inside of my case. Um, but yeah, I'll show you all the new sunglasses I got. So these ones, I think, I don't know the name of these. I think they're called Sahara or something. But these are these ones. And then, actually, I'm going to edit this out. We don't have to go through it. These are probably my favorite from the collection. Um, these like gold high keys. Oh my god. Oh, you can see the camera. <laughs> but I love them because they're so big and I have the biggest head um, and they're just so shiny. I love them. And I love um, sunglasses where you can't see through the lens. And then these were also in the collection which these are going to sit on my cheeks, I already know. So this is for kind of like one of those like days where we're getting our nails done with no makeup on and want to hide from the world. Um, I'm holding them so that they don't crease my makeup, but these ones are super chic too. So those are the newest additions. And then I think I have like four keys in here. I have two other pairs. One, I have no idea where it is. And then when I lost, I've already lost two pairs of keys and I just keep getting more because they're the only ones that fit my head. But this was my other Black Friday purchase that I love. So I'm supposed to be packing, but I decided to turn on the L word instead. And I realize we haven't talked about this yet. So the L word uh, Gen Q debuted last weekend and Oh my gosh. Um, I watched all eight seasons probably like two or three times. Um, and they say you don't need to watch all the old ones to watch Generation Q. But I feel like... I'm going to burp. But I feel like you just do. Like, I don't know. You just have like a different appreciation for the original characters. Like the OG cast. But then, like, the new cast is just so refreshing and fun to watch. I really love Finley. I think she's so funny and just kind of, like, 
I don't know. I just think she's so funny. Sam thinks I have a toner for her, which like I do, but I don't. I just think she's so funny. Anyone else think that Finley's just so funny and she's just so relatable and just kind of like, I don't know. She just makes me laugh. She's just so funny and it's nice to kind of have that. Alice was kind of like the comic relief I feel like in like all eight seasons. Um, but then it feels like that's kind of Finley now too. But then Finley also feels like a baby Shane and like Shane's like taking her under her wing and I don't know. But then like Finley will have like more of a heart than Shane as much as I love Shane. She's not as like, she's like the hot lesbian that you see but doesn't have like but she's actually appro approachable where Shane is like oh my god like you have all these walls up challenge accepted but like Finley's just like fun I don't know okay anyways I don't know why I talk about these people like I'm gonna date them <laughs> but I wanted to see what you guys think of the L word uh generation Q because I love it. Also, we watched, so, so, oh my god, 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 okay. So last night, me and Sam watched the second episode, and fucking bet Porter killed Jenny! I swear I called it. I know that she killed her. Like, it's obvious that she killed her, and then, like, that's gonna come out during her campaign. All this shit's coming out during her campaign, but, like, something's going to happen. Bet Porter killed Jenny. And then that one scene, and I just feel like, okay, hang on, hang on. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like so excited thinking about all this stuff. That one scene, this hasn't, the scene hasn't come up yet, but when like they're all in the club and like taking shots and then they're like, <gasps> I think Carmen shows up because she's a DJ. And then like Shane's like, what the fuck? But who did Shane get married to? Ugh, I don't know. I feel like I could talk about this all day, but I wanted to include my thoughts in this vlog because this is just so huge that the L word is back and just so many exciting things. So many like theories are happening in my head and so far um, overall, I think it's just the season is amazing and I just, oh my God, I just can't wait to see what happens. I feel like we should do like a run through of like all my thoughts with each character, but then that could just be like a whole episode. Should we start a L word reaction <laughs> series on my channel? Um, okay, let's do a quick run through. Ready? Bet Porter, still hot. She's going to be in some deep shit, but yes, voting for her for mayor. Alice, um, <laughs> it's so funny watching her try to parent, um, and I like her new girlfriend, but I feel like she could go kind of crazy, and I think she's gonna hook up with the ex-wife. Um, Shane, who the hell was she married to? Who's Kiara? Why is she, she so rich? I need to know the backstory there, and I feel like Shane has had, like, no lines, like, in the series so far, yet I'm still in love with her. Um, Finley, I talked about her a ton. She's just so funny. I don't know how I feel about the girl that she just hooked up with in the second episode. I don't know, something's weird. But, oh, back to Shane. Shane's totally gonna hook up with that bartender. Who else is there? Who else is there? We talked about the main characters. Danny and Sophie. I, I say their names like I know who they are, but I literally just look them up before I turn it on the camera. Just keeping it real with you guys. Danny and Sophie. Danny and Bet also could hook up. Sophie, I think it was kind of crazy that she got mad that Danny didn't tell her that she got a new job, but whatever. Um, Sophie, I don't know. No comment yet. I feel like, I don't know. I'm interested to see what her character does. And Micah! I love Micah! Oh my god, he is so cute. Um, and his boyfriend is cute, but I feel like... There's also gonna, there's gonna be trouble with everyone, but there's my full rundown. So tell me in the comments below, I know this vlog's probably gonna be like super long, but tell me in the comments below what you think of the new L Word um, series, Generation Q, who's your favorite, and who, this is like a lot, no one's gonna do this, but like who you relate to the most. So guys, I think I'm almost done packing. I leave for Michigan early tomorrow morning. Here's my suitcase. This suitcase is ginormous and I think I'm going to leave the other half empty. Usually I would travel to Michigan with just my base bag, which is just like a weekender bag. 
But since it's Christmas, I have a feeling I always come back with a bunch of stuff. Um, so we're just gonna leave that half open. Um, Sam and I just got done. We took our Christmas photo since we're not gonna be together on Christmas, which is why I'm wearing this. I literally like DIY'd this top and just tucked everything in and tied it. Um, we'll share that photo. Hopefully we have something. Um, Sam hates taking pictures, so we'll just see what we got and then I'll share that on Christmas. Um, but yeah, super crazy day. I feel like my flight's at 7 a.m. Sam's driving me like hella early at like 5 a.m. Um, and so yeah, that's what we're up to today. It's Tuesday, so we just cooked up a bunch of tacos we're about to eat. And then Sam and I are also doing our gift exchange today. So um, Christmas came early for me. Literally, it feels like Christmas. We took our photo, we're eating, and um, we're going to do our gift exchange after. So um, I think this is going to be the end of the vlog. Um, and if I don't see you until then, I wish you all a happy holidays. Or if I don't see you... Obviously, like, I won't see you on Christmas, but, like, um, since it's just around the corner, I wish you all a happy holidays, a happy new year, and I'll see you guys in the next decade. Ah! All right. All packed up. Hi, Sharky.